you remember when I kept mentioning on this show how I thought the flipping sandals that Brent, that flipping Brian Cannon was wearing were ridiculously offensive and they were driving me insane because of the lack of respect that it was showing for him getting on that podcast and putting on sandals and flicking his toes around in front of the camera and thinking that he's actually doing something that he's grand old age that he'd leave the house in a pair of skinny jeans and a hoodie but he couldn't bother to put on some shoes and it used to drive me crazy and it still does because it's like come on man you get paid thousands of dollars to do this fucking podcast that is on its knees that's a shadow of its former self that was once great and is now a complete shell of itself right you've now kind of decided to be an absolute cuck right for this flipping brenda Shaw guy at a time when when i used to like the show they were quite cool because there was some level of parity going on between them they were both trying to strive and succeed in their own careers in the same time but the moment brenda started selling more fucking tickets than this Brian Callan guy, he suddenly started cucking for him and trying to be his personal chili dude with his pom-poms on and his short shorts. Absolute redactedness and horribleness stuff, right? And then, of course, he gets accused of rape and then he turns into a complete cuck for Brendan. And it's awful to watch in real time. Cool, that's one thing. But then coming on the podcast and putting on flipping sandals, leather sandals, ugly brown leather sandals, not even cool Havianas or whatever they're called, right? That that those kids wore in the movie City of the Gods where you're running around the streets of Rio de Janeiro playing soccer and eating watermelons and taking baths and hooking up with hot girls. No, horrible brown leather sandals that the type of person who carries a flipping, you know, handgun with a flipping Bluetooth headphone set would have on as they're perusing around the flipping aisles of Walmart. Those kind of ridiculous, horrible sandals. And you know what makes it horrible? It's absolutely a collaboration. That's why he's wearing those horrible sandals all these weeks. So all this time that Brendan has been going through this public spat where he's been fighting for his life, right? In terms of what's going on with Kalila and Annie. This guy was promoting these flipping horrible laser etched brown sandals on his podcast because there's something that he's done as a collaboration. That's what they are. They're actually, there's a collaboration. They're flipping ethically sourced flipping sandals these sandals do not contain rape these sandals do not contain sexual harassment they do not contain sexual assault these sandals are f are friends of the me too movement <laughs> look at these shits the source the caption say the world's be the world's best flip-flops vintage dragon design herman oak leather ethically sourced elephant straps are you having a laugh they kill elephants for this fucking pair of sandals that he puts on. How can you have an ethically sourced sandal that's also got elephant straps on it? I'm sure it's a design, but let's laugh and joke and flip and think about it. Maybe it is the skin of an elephant is being placed on his foot in order for him to parade around. It makes a lot of sense. Maybe these are the sandals that he got when he went to Afghanistan. Maybe these are the sandals that he got during that time, right? During that time as a kid running around the streets of Afghanistan while his dad flipping, you know, allegedly or not allegedly, you know, <laughs> does deals behind the scenes for arms manufacturers and shit maybe this is what he was doing maybe this is what running around in these flipping sandals what horribleness is this anyway it continues um it's got a vibram soul allegedly it's got a five 550 labs of strength fong what does that even mean are these sandals designed for wings of redemption or not nah? are you telling me these sandals are this little elastic on the front of the toe could withstand wings of redemption's weight are you laughing are you kidding me are you telling me these sandals are designed for joey diaz or are they just designed for wispy types like brian callan who knows it continues um what does it say here Ethically sourced leather. When we first heard about the exotic levers, we soundly rejected the idea of using them in our products. Consequently, we were then... Who wrote this? Is this a BGL product description writing? Consequently for sandals. Don't ever use the word consequently when you're talking about sandals ever again, okay? Don't ever do that. Um... Consequently, <laughs> we were then provided government documentation describing the importance of supporting these majestic creatures. We considered our research revealed um, that when an animal perishes, the game wardens are able to respond. So are you telling me this is ethically sourced because they take the carcass of a dead flipping elephant? And then they flip in, impart it on a sandal and send it to rich coastal elites to go and wear. This is ethically sourced. Perfect. Perfect. 
Um, our research revealed that when animals perish, the game wardens are able to respond quickly. The meat can be harvested to feed local villagers and the hide is sold to a government controlled um, tannery. Therefore, these hides are met meticulously tracked and monitored. <laughs> meticulously and tracked hides and carcasses of elephants, camels, lizards, zebras, um, <laughs> flipping. <laughs> <laughs> giraffes in the in the flipping jungles of Africa are being slain to adorn the feet of a recovering whatever he is at the moment. <laughs> what the fuck is this? The proceeds in turn pay the wages of the game wardens. Oh yeah, that's it. We're not paying the local villagers, right? We're not paying the people, the kids that you see with the fucking flies above their flipping heads, right? Starving. We're playing the fucking game wardens, right? <laughs> the ones who are dressed in khakis and who are clearly overweight and who shoot flipping animals from the comfort of their Range Rover 4x4. Fuck out of here. And look at the hashtags. 10 Planet Jiu Jitsu. What's that got to do with sandals? BJJ. Oh my God. And obviously, let's play the clip and hear Brian Cuck and Shill for these horrible, ugly sandals that are quite possibly some of the ugliest pieces of footwear I've ever seen in my entire life. And they are offensive. And if these are the reason why T-Fight K gets cancelled and never comes back on air, I will be none the happier for it. I will be over the moon. I will go outside and take my shirt off and dance in the street like an absolute psycho if that happens. Because these are an affront and an offence to all former and current fans of T-Fight K that anyone would go on that show and dangle their little pristine feet. And if you look at his feet too, if you zoom in on those videos, you can see his feet are sand stress, sand worry. Those are the feet of somebody that's lived a very comfortable life. They're able to flipping adorn these leather etched stupid flipping um you know hides of slain elephants minding their business flipping sandals. But let's hear what he has to say in regards regarding it anyway. Toe holes lift up with sustainably sourced elephant straps. What? Dude, with Vibram soles, orthopedic soles. I have you never seen a more ugly pair of footwear in your entire life? Have you, have you ever seen a worse endorsement for a pair of sandals from somebody that looks like this in your entire life? Who has ever in their entire life sat there and thought, hmm, I'm waiting for the right sandal endorsement. Somebody who expresses the outdoors, somebody who's in touch with nature, somebody who's cool, somebody who takes pictures and has this sort of like hand pose and everything that they take. Somebody who's always surrounded by hot, tanned, young, athletic looking women. Somebody who's also hot, tanned and athletic themselves. Somebody who has achieved things that I could never achieve in the open seas. Somebody who clearly has the the ability to be somebody that the girls want to fuck and the guys want to be friends with is this the guy that you'd go for is this the guy that you would go for when it comes to endorsing these flipping sandals what the fuck is this shit hey dude um how do you get it where i feel like i'm on clouds but somehow on the everlasting at the same time herman oak leather fuck dude Look at the shilling. Look at the shilling. Imagine how embarrassing this has to be for somebody like this. You come from a family that actually has money. You don't need to do this. You don't need to do this. But clearly, maybe he does. But you don't really need to. You should have more pride, more self-shame, more dignity that wouldn't allow you to sit there and start shilling for a pair of sandals you've only just touched right then that are absolutely ugly. The same sandals. Like, look at them. Look at them. No pair of sandals could ever make me look this way. Nothing. The only thing that can make me look this way is maybe some Popeyes or something, right? <laughs> Apart from that, nothing could make me look this happy. What the fuck is this bullshit? These things fuck. Drag. Oh my God. Anyway, absolutely terrible things. Now we've got confirmation as to why you've been wearing these absolutely awful pairs of sandals. It is what it is. I absolutely hate everything about it. I hate the hashtags. I hate the company. I hate the product descriptions. I hate the fact that he's wearing them on the show. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hope they burn in hell every single pair of them, especially the fact that they're flipping taking out elephants so they can place these flipping sandals on coastal elites who are sitting on podcasting, on podcasts, which are meant to be comedy podcasts and bemoaning the state of politics, you know, talking about things that they don't know anything about and ultimately not being funny. Fuck them. Fuck them all. I don't care.